we're going to talk about Jeff's rig. I don't want to say it's complicated, but it looks a little complicated. I really kind of conceptualize what's going on is there's basically three instruments. It really starts with this full tone ABY pedal that I've got. And so in my A uh, signal chain, I've just got my guitar effects and it goes right to the amp. Straight up, it hits path A, hits a few effects, hits the amps. I switch it over to B and now we're running into a whammy octave down and then into a sans amp to kind of fatten it up. So when we do that, it's gonna hit the bass amp. Well, it doesn't hit the bass amp right now because it's just going to direct. Well, right now it's going DI, but yeah. typically playing live. I playing live, it'd go to his bass amp. Yeah. That makes me my kind of own little bass player, basically. So that's A or B. I can either go guitar or bass. And then to throw it all together for a big fat riff, I'll go Y, which is both. Use that f fairly often. Yeah, you know, it's a big. It's a great sound. Yeah, it's because there's big. no bass player. You're you're kind of playing, you're playing like especially with riffs. It's right. cool that that big that that's like the bass player playing. You've with You've got you. the low end yeah, in it's there. Yeah, great. Fantastic. And like I said, live it goes to its own amp. Right. So you know, I'm not playing a octave right. down into another guitar amp. It's right. like a it's like so a bass. It needs to be. Yeah. And I, what I'm doing is I'm taking a DI of that, and so I'm taking that DI, and then we're treating it. I'm sort of treating it like a bass amp that we're recording the DI of, but then I'm gonna reamp later, and we'll get to that. Yeah, totally.